and we looked at store simple because they are a cloud storage gateway with the intent express intent to take to have some on-premise storage component of it but to basically push that data out to the cloud and in doing so we don't maintain these you know room full of disk drives etc and move all of our data out there and we can pull it back in and it's effectively a backup and a DR strategy that kind of gets built into the whole thing so that's something we hadn't had as, as you can imagine with trying to support 13,000 VMs so we strategically move that data over there out into the cloud or actually to the store simple device first and then it um, makes the decisions about what data is hot and what we're using all the time and what data isn't and it archives it out uh, with a different variety of uh, mechanisms like cloud snaps and cloud clones uh, out to, to the uh, cloud. When we factored in the, the cost savings of uh, the cost of putting the data on the cloud and the devices, uh, store simple devices, um, and all of the compression ratios that we should realize from this particular data, um, we realized something, something like a 5x savings uh, over the, doing the project with conventional SAN and replication. I think the only thing I haven't mentioned is um, in some of the projects that we're deploying Store Simple for is really the, the OPEX side of things, the savings of manpower. Trying to maintain uh, SAN infrastructure, traditional SAN infrastructure at remote sites where we don't necessarily have the manpower there is a challenge. So being able to put uh, a very simple to use device like Store Simple into play and be able to manage it over the, you know, basically over our WAN infrastructure. I mean, it's, it's a web GUI. And being able to do that and check the policies and get emails about whether the, you know, the, the SNAP clones or SNAP components have failed or, or have success, that, that, that management uh, overhead and that savings is just, a, it's going to be a big deal for us. We'll be able to support these sites much more efficiently and not need to have manpower to you know on premise to support these kinds of things so I really think that that's going to be a really big savings overall.